Well, there's a lot of theories as to uh, why that is, and um, I think interest is as, much, as big a area, which is why, again, I ask about the sports. Is there anything that he is more interested in that he that might be increase his motivation in terms of some of these things? He, the gym, for example, is something he's as a higher. Well, yeah, he's very motivated in going to the gym. The problem with TJ is um, one of the issues that I find. How am I going to explain this? Okay, we have moods, we have highs and lows, which he has dramatic high and low. Okay, but he basically keeps on an even keel. So if you said to TJ, we're going to Disney World tomorrow, any other person, or and I'll just use Disney World because we know we all get excited about going to Disney World. So he would get, somebody would get excited. TJ doesn't get excited. It's the same as if you just said we're going to sit by the pool for an hour. I think hour. what you're describing, if I'm listening, is a person who they would use the word flat affect mm -hmm. to describe. Exactly. Except when there are outbursts. Exactly. So you have a very flat affect and fairly poor insight. And then all of a sudden you have these catastrophic changes in the wood. Exactly. Um, yeah. Now you okay. said when we started that it could be something as simple as good morning. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to try to put yourself inside his brain, is it possible that there isn't actually any logical explanation for those outbursts other than some type of seizure activity? It could be because sometimes I just don't understand why he's not understanding what what I said, why does that turn and trigger something? Because it's like, how are you? And I'll ask them back, you know, what did you hear me say? That, why did you act that way? Well, you've been married long enough to know that there's a certain um, resistance that... a this, man and a woman. <laughs> yes, that there's, that there's a yeah. certain word that said at the wrong moment that mm -hmm. will, will cause a flare-up in a marriage. Yes. Um, Men, that's... I also had gone through, I mean, being married, you, you go through certain things even before you get married. And one of the things I remember from the marriage counseling prior to getting married was that they had us do a technique where it was like, I would say something and how did you hear it? Being a man, how did you hear that? Repeat it back to me. I know that they hear things differently than how we say it. And we do the same exact thing. The okay. only thing I've done with TJ is what I call the vertical blind theory. When he starts to outburst, as much as I want, I want to scream, I want to strangle him, I want to pull my hair out. I just, I mean, it's like stop, 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 and you want to yell at from the mouth. I shut the blinds. He's there. He's still screaming. He's still outbursting right in front of me. He's safe. He's there. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to him, but I cannot react back. Okay. And that is difficult. Will his outbursts stop as fast as they start? Yes. And about three seconds later, well, I wouldn't say three seconds, probably about three to four minutes later, he does not remember like what he did. Have you ever explained the nature of those? And there's they, uh, there's a waveform they call to describe this, where to someone who's actually looking at the seizure question to ask them if that is in fact a seizure. Oh well, yeah, we're with his neuropsychologist. We, this is. But have you discussed to... the issue of seizure yes. in context of the anger mm -hmm. outburst? And that's why the, the latest thing that we've done is the sleep apnea machine. That is our latest progression of where we're at. And we're hoping that with that, because the seizures are apparent, there it's, you can't, if he didn't lean forward like this and rest this arm on his leg, you would have seen him tremor, okay? okay? They have been declining those tremors. Okay. Um, he's been on the sleep apnea machine only if he's actually wearing it and he was forgetting to wear it or he would say he would take it off during the night but I really don't even think that I think it was that he wouldn't even put it on do you so, think he's getting more sleep now I do we we had them come out and give him a new mask so it's more comfortable has he had as part of the sleep study has he had a portable EEG I think they did that during, he went and slept overnight. And well, that, that would have been that while was, he was at the yeah, facility. at the facility. Have, have they ever sent him home with an EEG? No. Machine? No. 
it's something that might be worth considering in terms of trying to figure out if his outbursts are seizure related. Um, he has how many outbursts a day? It's mm. a hard question. Yeah, depends on. If the more you interact with him, the more he's the more we interact, the more seizure, the more outbursts he's going to have. And when he does outburst, the one thing that happens is the tremors get even worse. I mean, he just starts. If you sent him, if you monitored him for 20, 48 hours straight, you would certainly see some evidence of the outburst. Yeah, you do, you try, and as cruel as this is going to sound, but you try not to have too much conversation with him. I mean, it's not like I don't talk to him at all, but we try to limit it because that is going to, it's going to trigger an outburst. So, 